welcome back. Now today I'm not visiting a specific place in Canberra, but looking at something we can see all around town. Now we've just come into spring, which is my favourite time of year in Canberra because everything is coming alive again after winter. And at this time of year, I like to turn my eyes to the trees. That's because almost everywhere you look, birds are starting to nest. And it's not just in built nests, but in hollows or holes in trees as well. Now some scientists have estimated that tree hollows are used by about 15% of Australia's terrestrial vertebrate species, that's land animals such as birds, mammals, frogs and reptiles, as well as an unknown number of invertebrates such as spiders and insects. Now hollows generally only form in trees that are big and old and in the case of our eucalypts there are three things that are essential. They need to be under some kind of stress or injury, such as a broken branch. There needs to be some kind of decay or rot happening to grow the hole. And finally, the tree must be big enough that it can survive that injury and decay. Now let's go back to our animals again. A small animal, like these beautiful red rump parrots, might only need a smallish hole. But a large animal, like the sulphur crested cockatoo, would need a much bigger one, which means a bigger, older tree. In fact, a tree big enough to support a larger animal like a cockatoo or a possum may need to be over 200 years old, which is twice as old as the city of Canberra. Now this is a big problem because as our cities keep growing and expanding across the landscape, the number of those big old trees gets fewer and fewer. And while we can plant new trees to replace the ones that are lost, it'll be a long time before these little trees are big enough to provide homes. So what can we do to help? Well, the most important thing is to protect our big old trees, including fallen and dead trees where it's safe to do so. But in the meantime, we can also create habitat, such as these nesting boxes, to give our wildlife a hand. What animals have you seen coming out for spring? And are there any birds nesting near you? Let me know. Until next time, 